testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. Two, three. One, 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 two, 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 yeah, 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 peace to the gods and the earths. Mad rapper, D-Dot, Crazy Cat, I'm in the house. Gemini Keys, D-Dot Keys, CNN Keys, Leo Keys, however you want to call it. We Zodiac signs, we rappers, we're, we're hosts, we rock me TV. That's all I know, baby. Don't shrink that screen, and motherfucker definitely don't shrink them drawers, man. You know what's funny, Doc, is like I said, doing the research, I, I didn't know that you went from Tilden and from Tilden to Howard. How, you know, how, explain that. How, how does a kid from Brooklyn, Tilden, like, yeah, go ahead. I sound like I'm on my own dick, but I'm a pretty smart kid, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Like, fuck it, I might as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I mean, I, I, I was, I was kind of smart, but I went to Tilden because I lived around the corner from Wingate. Right. And I couldn't go to Wingate. My mom was like, all my boys went there. So I went to Tilden. And because I was, you know, I was pretty decent in the brain, I was in a enrichment program. So I got a scholarship. You know what I'm saying? So, and I got a scholarship and I cashed in on it. Why not? My grades were good enough. I wasn't like no no valedictorian or nothing like that, but <laughs> right, right, right. I, I can get A's and B's if I needed to, if I applied myself, you know what I'm saying? If I wasn't, I was on the football team, you know, doing dirt in the street like every other high school kid, but I could do the work because it was easy. It was nothing to do, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Doc, being around that bad boy must have been a tremendous experience for you. I mean, right. you guys probably created the Hustles Anthem for all I know, you know what I'm saying? Um, you, monitored, you mentored Kanye West. Right, Man he managed and mentored Kanye West. Um, during his come up, did you know that he was going to be special? Definitely knew he was going to be special from mm. the moment I met him. Okay. He told me he was going to be special, so that's also a, a, a sign. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, "Yo, I'm gonna be special." I was like, "Yeah, I believe you." Like, you know, it was like he had a, a one of the things in front of my face, a pendulum, whatever it's called. <laughs> okay. I was like, "Yeah, I believe he you." I believe. you right? Yeah, I believe you. I believe well, what's your opinion on the whole attack on the whole gay fish South Park cartoon that they just did on him? What's your opinion on that? You're a rapper, yes. An entrepreneur, yes. And you like fish sticks, yes. You're a gay fish. No, I am not no gay fish. Just gay? I'm not gay, and I'm not a fish, man. You are male. Damn right, I'm male. A male that likes fish dicks. Yeah, I like fish dicks. You like to put fish dicks in your mouth. Yeah. You're a gay fish. All right, that does it. I'm going to kick your mother ass. I love it because, you know, he, he got to know he kind of had that coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a talented dude. He's probably one of the most talented dudes I ever met. You know, when I met him, he was, he was very humble. He's probably still humble now. But obviously being young... And with, you know, the experiences of getting money, the experiences of having one of the icons in hip hop branding you and standing by your side, the experiences of producing for some of the A-list artists in the history of the game, not just rappers, I'm talking about Madonnas and, you know what I mean? That's, that's a little bit overwhelming, right. you know what I mean? But his personality was, you know, type A, which means that it's going to be extra and over the top. So when I met him, yes, he was very extra. He was very over the top, but he was very smart. You know what I mean? So I, I knew he was going to be a success. Yeah, I definitely did. And that's why I attached myself to him. Okay. Now, I remember a story, and, and I'm not going to really harp on a negative because you handled it. Right. But I remember Kanye said in, 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 a, in a story how he ghost produced one of your tracks, and you handled that kind of swiftly. Now, what's your opinion on the whole ghost writer, ghost producer thing? Well, like you say, I definitely spoke on that before. My, my opinion on the ghost writer, ghost producer things is that to, to those people that have done it or feel like they are a part of that, I'm sure that it exists, but it only exists because you let it exist. You see what I'm saying? Like, Kanye, for me, was never a ghost. His name, ghost means not seen, at least for what I'm concerned, how I'm concerned. People who say the word ghost, you think something that can't be seen. Kanye was not only seen, he was heard. He got all his publishing credits. He got all his, you know, proper production credits. He got all his money. You didn't never hear him say, and he produ ghost produced for me and took all my money. You never heard that. Wow, so this is the first time you breaking this story right now? With that, with the taking of the money? No, 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 no. I, I've, okay, said, okay. I've said that before. I'm just right. saying to you, like, right, right. these are stories you never, you never heard him come out and say, did I beat me for my money? He robbed all my publishing. He never did all that. He used the word ghost produced because he, he, he was trying to give the impression, like, he was in there doing the work. He was in there producing the vocals, mixing the record, tracking the record out, even putting the songs together. No, that's not what he was doing when he, got with, when he was with me. What he was doing when he was with me was him and his crew was making beats in Chicago and either sending to me or bringing them to me. I would then go and make the rest of the song, meaning do the overdubs on the records, meaning if he sent me 22 tracks, 
when it was 38, the other 16 were the ones that I went and added, bass lines and choruses, and I mean, the strings, and I added the choruses. I put the guest appearances on it. When he talks about Stir Crazy, which he produced, he gave me the beat, and the next day he heard the record. Okay. Had nothing to do with the creation of the record. He created the beat. That's it. That's not producing. That's beat making. So I produced that record. So he understands the art of producing because since then, he's taken some of his crew's beats and he's produced them. And all they did was do the beat. So now he gets it fully. And while he was with me, he produced a record with Missy that Missy then put her name on because she produced it. Not made the beat. Making the beat does not make you a producer. I'll say it again. Making the beat does not make you a producer. It makes you a beat maker. A producer is Jermaine Dupree. A producer is P. Diddy. A producer is Derek D. Angeletti. A producer is now Kanye West. A producer is now Pharrell. Right. Because I've experienced guys that have, back in the days, that have just given beats and heard their records for the first time when it was on the radio. And it became a smash, and they run around saying they produced that. No, you did the beat for that one third or eighth of the portion that it takes to make a hit record. You know, that's like Ben Roethlisberger for the Steelers, who I love, by the way, saying, I won the Super Bowl. That's right. We won the Super Bowl. You understand my point? So ghostwriting and ghost producing does exist. Kanye did not do that for me. He, pro he, he was, he was a, a man producer, meaning he was there. I don't know how was the alternative to ghost, but material. Like, he was there. Got all his money, got all his credits. And that's why kind of why he is where he is today, because his name and his credits and all that was out there. If he was a ghost producer, I'd have his money, and he'd be sitting there with all them other producers that's sitting there bitching and moaning that deed I robbed them. Nor is he doing that. And he's never reached out to me to say, hey, Dida, thank you. Let's get some money together. So that's why I'm even further upset about the ghost producing term. You know what I'm saying? Because you didn't ghost produce and a dude that provided you opportunity, you didn't come back and show love. So that's why the humbleness is coming out now. Because everybody don't love you, dog. As much as you think they do, they don't love you. You know what I'm saying? All right, Doc. Who's going to deny a doubt on that? More with Gemini Keys, D-Dot. You're watching Rock Me TV. Keep it locked. Don't shrink that screen. We're right back.